they can pay you back. They just lent both here and in the state banks more than the economies can afford. So banking is now going to have to become much, much simpler. The city of London is going to shrink. In the short term, I'm afraid that will be bad news for the economy. In the longer term, it should insulate us from booms and busts. But then the banks are being told to go back to lending from last year's How does that work? Well, I think you've got to slightly sort of dig deep into what the government is actually forcing these banks to do. It is desperately trying to get them to lend more to small and medium-sized businesses because as the economy turns down, I mean, I'm being contacted by small businesses because credit isn't there, and there's a big push to get them lending to small businesses. On the mortgage commitment, actually what it says is they want these banks to lend more over the next three years. I don't think anybody should expect a great surge of new credit for house buying in the short to medium term. Not my house prices are on this kind of slide. However, well, thank you very much. Let's go to Dan and Steve now, and our political editor, uh, Nick Robinson. Nick, uh, Gordon Brown's getting a lot of the credit there for this. Uh, will it translate into political capital? Well, what we've seen, George, haven't we, is a boom in shares in Stop. with some suggesting that the death of some of our banks as independent institutions has been accompanied by a kind of rebirth of the Prime Minister. They point out that his plan's got all party support here and abroad. It has inspired action in Europe and America. And there's even the case of a Nobel Prize winning economist who today said that Gordon Mann and Alistair Darley have been way ahead of politicians in the rest of the world. But, just hold on a second, the politics of the aftermath is likely, in a sense, to be much harder than the no, no. After the part nationalisation, some employees of this bank may say, why doesn't the government ensure that I keep a job or that the headquarters of my bank stays where it is? The mortgage holders may demand more as well. And if there is a recession, that will be very difficult as well. I guess what we've learned from this whole episode, George, is that shares, whether in banks or browns, can go up and down and up and maybe down again. All right, Nick, thank you very much. And there's plenty of other information on the financial crisis on the BBC News website, which has a special section. That's at bbc.co.uk forward slash financial crisis. And the time is uh, coming up to quarter past six, our top story tonight. The taxpayer takes a £37 billion stake in three big name banks as the government.